What's up guys, Josh here, and I have decided to go through the um, newest Saren prayer uh, and newest Saren prayer and newest Saren spells to decide uh, just how worth they are for various skilling. And um, what I did for this is I tested uh, Crystallize, which you can see me using right now, poorly because I'm trying to focus on this. Uh, I used Crystal Mask, and I used Light Form, and I used Super Heat Form. And I believe I used them to their most efficient extent, and I really hope everyone enjoys this video because it took me a few hours to put together, and it was um, a little stressful because I'm, I'm not the most confident person with math in the world. But I'm pretty sure my calculations are pretty, pretty on point, so... Um, if you guys enjoyed, please, please, please give me a like and comment. P feel free to PM me in the game, and um, any construct constructive criticism or advice is always so, so appreciated. Uh, feel free to skip ahead to the method of your choice. I will have annotations on the screen here, and I will also have them in the description box. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope someone out there gets some um, use from these videos. Thank you very much guys and enjoy the video. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out Super Heat Form at Jade Vines. And Super Heat Form is a prayer which uh, super heats the ore that you might have or um, burns any logs that you may acquire while it is active. And the amazing thing about this prayer is that if you have a um, prayer renewal active, your prayer drain rate will be so low that it actually keeps completely even. So what this means is you do not need to use prayer potions of any kind as long as you use uh, prayer renewal uh, potions. As you can see, I've got quite a few of them here. So as a quick example, um, I'm currently at Jade Vines to test this, and if you don't know, this is a area which requires 83 fire making, and you can find it by going um, just north of Herblor Habitat and hopping down the hole there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pot up with our Prey Renew, and we're going to turn Super Heat Form on, and as you can see, as I cut these Jade Vines, these curly roots, that will instantly be converted into fire making XP. And this is done every single time you get these items, as long as your uh, prayer is activated, obviously. So what this means is you're not um, breaking from the jade vines to throw them on the uh, bonfire like you would have to if you didn't use this prayer. So this makes training fire making incredibly quick, like, this may be the best XP in the game outside of um, bonfiring, pyrofiending, elder logs, which costs a lot of money. So, as the pros for this, obviously, it is um, high, 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 high fire making XP, and not the worst wood cutting XP in the world. Um, you can honestly ex expect to get well over 700k fire making XP per hour, even being a little slack here. Um, I did a 10 minute test and it came out to 890k fire making XP per hour and 95,364 wood cutting XP per hour. And I, th I think that's a little high because I've got the avatar and I've got um, various, like, um, all the XP boosting gear on. Um, I did not have bonus XP, so I'm a little confused at how that is so incredibly high because. It seems a bit out of whack, but from looking at other people, it is easily 700k XP per hour for fire making, and at least 70 to 80k wood cutting XP per hour. So, if you're looking at your stats right now and you need to get fire making to 99, and um, like in any form, it is best to do this. Um, you'll get a decent amount of wood cutting XP on the side, which is great, but you know, not too, um, not too important in the grand scheme of things. But the other really good thing about these things is that they are completely free. Um, besides the prayer renewal, which, I mean, a dose of prayer renew is going to set you back, what, like 
four four k a little bit over four k no three k <laughs> like it is insanely cheap to do this and the only cons I can think of is it's click intensive um there's not a whole lot of a f k and sometimes the uh jade plans move as you can see it's kind of trolling me at the moment two of them moved in a row as I went to cut them but it's so easy and I think anyone who wants to train fire making would be an idiot not to come here because it is so incredibly easy. Um, another con for some people watching this is it does require 91 prayer to do and um, of course it takes a couple grandmaster quests to, to be able to do so. If you've got the requirements and you need to train fire making whether that beats 99, 120 or 200 mil you'd be completely insane not to use this method although it might be nerfed because this is just insane xp okay thanks for watching guys and uh next one will be crystallize what's up guys so now we're gonna look at crystallization crystallize spell and light form at arctic pines so uh arctic pines are the best um tree in the game in runescape currently and the thing you need to know about this spell uh, is that when you cast it on the tree you will not get the logs from the tree but you will get increased XP and this is uh, compounded or improved rather for using the light form which will increase the chance that you will get extra XP from woodcutting the tree so now this is this is a problematic method for a number of reasons and I've I've done a bit of math on it and I'm not ultra confident in math so I'm gonna leave the calculations down below so if anyone wants to tell me where I went wrong or how I might be wrong I would really appreciate it but uh, the immediate things you need to know about light form and crystal crystallized spell is that light form drains your prayer at a rate of about a prayer flask uh, per 20 minutes so um, you need to use prayer grenades and prayer potions here, firstly, so you can't just like um, do what you do at Jade Vines and just bring prayer grenades because you're going to have to bank very quickly. Um, further still, it is definitely really good woodcutting XP per hour. Um, you can expect, if you use the crystallized spell and light form consistently, about 180k woodcut XP per hour. Uh, I've seen some people say that they can get 400 to 500 k but they didn't specify if that was with bonus xp if it was bon with bonus xp they're right but otherwise from what i've seen and from what i've done um that's not correct and of course this was also using the lumberjack outfit um a holy wrench and my avatar so that is like as good as it gets i suppose outside of being very very quick efficient more quick efficient than i was being in my testing of course so I'll give a quick. I'll give you guys a quick look on exactly how it's done. So you use your prey renew, you turn on light form, and you use crystallize on the tree, and you start woodcutting. Now, as you can see, the only way you can actually tell if crystallize is actually on the tree is by the little bit of um, crystally mist that rises out of the tree. Um, it can be kind of annoying to know if you've got your tree crystallized because of that. But it'll also come up in your chat box, your crystallize, crystallize spell is one off. So you're going to have to keep a very close eye on your crystallize um, spell effect being active. And oh, as soon as you see that, you just go right at it. Now, I want to stress that that tree I was just cutting, I have been cutting for the last 12-13 minutes. So. Um, it is very good for keeping the trees going and the only reason it died just then is because every now and again you'll cut as your spell runs out so you need to um so over time it'll add up and it'll slowly deplete the tree of its resource but so much slower than it would be if you didn't have crystallize on and you see i was a little distracted because i'm talking and i let it i let my prayer run out so you just do this and that's basically the training. <laughs> there is no um, massive thing besides that. You just have to keep your prayer up and make sure you've got your crystallized spell ready at all times. And as soon as that effect runs out, you want to click it on the arctic pine and start woodcutting again because the more downtime you have, the worse your XP rate will be in the long term, of course. 
So numbers, 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 numbers. Um, first off, let me grab this. First off, um, it is of course upwards to 180k per hour without bonus XP, which is just the best you'll get in RuneScape, like by far the best. And the spell itself takes six water runes, six fire runes, six chaos runes, and six soul runes, which will come out to 3,210 GP worth of runes. And the spell itself only lasts for 30 seconds, which means um, you're going to have to do this about 120 times per efficient hour using crystallized spell. Um, this is going to end up costing a lot. And this is, of course, assuming that... Um, the price of runes doesn't go up dramatically, which it very well might, because um, because this method is such good woodcutting XP. So at the current price of runes, it's going to cost you about 385-200 GP per hour in runes, and if you add on to the cost of um, prayer flasks, assuming that you're using uh, three prayer flasks per hour, um, it's going to end up costing you 470-304 GP per hour, and if you add on the price of um, the prayer renews, which you really should, it is 509, 586 GP per hour. And um, working this out to the uh, GP per XP, this will end up costing you 2.8 GP per XP you get. And yeah, so pros, it's great, great, great XP. Um, you don't have to move around too much. It's very, very easy, and those XP rates were, of course, using urns. So you can add that price in if you'd like, but um, I'm not going to for the sake of convenience here. So um, what we've got is the pros being very good XP, not much moving around, and the cons being you have to be very, very attentive to the screen. Um, you're not going to get more than... <sighs> 10 to 15 seconds downtime because you need to keep up with your prayer and you need to make sure the crystal is always, um, the crystallized spell rather, is always active on the tree. And you can see just by talking in this video and looking at my notes, um, I'm letting things wear out quite easily because, like, it's very attentive. Like, you can't just, you can't just do something else while you're doing this. You need to be watching the screen while you do this. So, that would be probably the biggest negative for most people, especially considering uh, crystal trees. Yeah, they're about 60k XP less per hour, but it's so much more AFK. And I think, on the whole, this method's not going to have a wide appeal because most people are just going to want AFK. So, so yeah, it makes woodcutting a lot more expensive when it's normally been a free skill for the most part. So, um, if you want to get the best woodcutting XP in the game at a price of 2.8 GP per XP minimum, and you don't mind um, having to be pretty attentive to get your XP, this is by far your best bet, and you should definitely, definitely check this out. Um, this seems balanced, honestly. The cost, the cost um, of the runes and the prayer potions and everything would, in my mind, justify the much better XP rate, but. On the whole, it's up to you. Do you like this method? Do you want to try this method? Well, um, let me know if it's useful to you, and feel free to check out my math in the description box and tell me if I went wrong anyway. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you for the next for the next spell. What's up, guys? Welcome back, and this is the final spell that I will be reviewing from the new Seren Prayer Book, Prayer Magic Book, rather. So. The one that you may, uh, you may have guessed by now is um, the spell called Crystal Mask. And what this does is it increases your chance to avoid being spotted by your pickpocketing um, target. And this, in short, is kind of incredible. Um, I'm going to put all my math down in the description box again. and. Um, I did my best, no mathematician, but uh, it worked out to be roughly 43.6 more pickpockets per clan, which um, is pretty incredible because on average this will boost you from 
you might get maybe anywhere from 176 to 185, 190 pickpockets normally without this uh, crystal mask. This will be increased to about 200 and, 210 to 230 pickpockets uh, per clan, which is amazing. Like, that is um, a huge, huge difference, and it'll give you anywhere from 30 to an entire minute more pickpocketing time without having to move to the next clan, so um, I want to immediately say that it is incredibly worth it. So if you're training Vieving, there is no reason in the world not to use the Crystal Mask. So how it works is you need 90 magic, uh, 7 earth runes, 6 fire runes, 5 body runes, and 4 soul runes, and that is fairly cheap at current rune prices. It might change as more people do this, but incredibly good as it is now. So what you're going to want to do is have the runes in your inventory. Um, you want it loaded up in your preset so you can always have them out. And for the purposes of this testing, I also used an Abyssal Lurker and I used the Abyssal Lurker Stealth Scroll, Abyssal Stealth Scroll ability. This gives you four more thieving levels and agility levels for that matter. Um, as a temporary bonus, and every time I was at 100 thieving, I would reuse the scroll, so that way I could see the best possible um, thieving gains per hour. And of course, I am using the exoskeleton um, outfit, which anyone doing uh, elves should always use. I didn't have an arty cloak because I have to do this on my airbend account, which is my secondary account, which I maxed. Um, I have 200 more thieving on airbend, and so obviously it would been pretty silly for me to do the testing on Draco, <laughs> my main account. So without further ado, I will show you how this whole process works. So we're going to use our scroll to make sure we've boosted up our four thieving levels, and we're going to use the crystal mask ability. And as you can see, you get a little mask that just spins around you, which is kind of cool. And it'll pop up here, so it's quite easy to know when you um, need to reuse your crystal mask. And besides that, that's effectively the biggest difference in your thieving routine. Just use that when it pops up and thieve away. And um, there might be a little bit of difference in that um, for two of the clans, I had uh, Voice of Siren activated, and I'm not sure if that increases your catch rate. I know it increases XP, but... Yeah, uh, the only thing that actually affected was the cry cryus, um pickpocketing rates, and there, there was the biggest difference in that one, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did affect your catch rates. But um, yeah, so this is amazing <laughs> as a pro. A pro. Um, it's better XP, it's better catch rate, you'll make more money, you'll spend less time banking and running in between clans, or teleporting in between clans, whichever you'd want to do. Um, I I think that would be all the pros. It's just basically amazing for um, training thieving. If you want to really look into the cons, you're not going to have many cons at all. Uh, I guess the biggest con is it makes it slightly less AFK because you need to um, use the spell as it pops up. But even then, I mean, it's kind of incredible. <laughs> um... Take note that I didn't use light form with this ability. Um, I'm not sure if it works, but if it does work, I wouldn't use it. Um, if it does work, you would get roughly, um, I think it's 15 to 20% extra when using um, abilities. I'm, I can't quite, can't, don't quote me on that one, but it might be worth using. So um, on the whole, yep. Uh, this spell is incredible for thieving, you should definitely use it, no excuse not to use it. Feel free to look at my calculations in the description box to discern if I did any mistakes. Everything looks pretty on the up and up for me. Maybe on further testing um, you would begin to see a more average difference, because of course each clan is different, but um, just by using it on those limited testing, I, that limited testing I did do, did take me a while to do, and it just seems so obvious that it's worthwhile using. So thank you very much for watching guys, I really hope this helped someone, it took me a while to put together, and um, I'm not ultra confident about my math, so 
my final comment on these spells is they're very worth using for skilling, definitely worth your time and investment. Um, the only one I would have somewhat of a doubt about is the Arctic Pines, where you need to decide for yourself if that um, 2.8 GP per XP is worth the extra 50 to 60k woodcutting XP per hour. I mean, I would say it is, but I know um, I know people will have very, very different opinions on that. So thank you so much for watching guys, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please, please, please give me a like, a comment, suggestions, constructive criticism, anything to let me know if you like this video or what I did wrong or right. And as always, feel free to PM, PM me in the game, and thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next video. See ya!